Today we're looking at example 3, so 1.4.3 in graphing functions with Excel. We're particularly interested in control the viewing window, so what are the x values, and we'd like to do those like parameters. So in many ways we're doing our same familiar example, x squared minus 6x, and we started with minus 10 to 10. If we look at it under show formulas, so we're showing the formulas to start with, the f of x looks just like what we did before. It's a times x squared plus b times x plus c. The difference is in our x values, we have a starting point. We're going to start with minus 10 and go up by steps of 1. If we start and quick fill, we're going to get exactly what we wanted before. We need to be careful, though, because in the first column, I only want to expand down those second things because I had a starting point, and then I'm taking a step up from my starting point, and I keep stepping up from my starting point. I don't want to loop back and put the starting point back in. And then I also quick fill my values of y. I then show the formulas. I have the values that I've seen before. I'm going to once again do a graph. Well, actually I wanted to go from minus 10 to 10. So I'm going to extend my quick fill down three more. I then want to put in a graph. Having put in a graph, I'm going to insert my scatter plot, mark scatter plot. This gives me my familiar graph. The advantage of doing this is I can decide I'd like to zoom in. So I'd like to go from 0 to 5. Well, if I go from 0 to 5, that's my starting point. If I have 20 steps, each step should be 0 0.25 from the previous step. I want to go 0 0.25 as my step. And notice it zooms in. I'm interested in what's happening from 0 to 1. So I'm going to make my step 0.05. And when I do that, I'm just looking at the graph from 0 to 1. Or I could go back to minus 10 and 1 and have my original graph again. So this is letting me control the x values by saying where I'm starting and how much I'm moving at each step. Thank you.